Um, hey guys, welcome back to Gazi Mix. So this is today's tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this cute design. You know, I don't even know what to call it, whatever you wish to call it. Um, that's just what I'm going to be showing you guys. See that? Let's get into it. I've knitted a couple of, I've knitted a couple of plain rows. And what we are going to do is we are, we are going to pull out every other needle after five needles. Yeah, so I'm counting one, two, three, four, five. Then I pull out the next needle. One, two, three, four, five. I pull out the next. That was the fifth. So I'm going to pull out this one. One, two, three, four, five. Pull out the next. Okay. So that's it guys. Now you can pull out any that you want. You can choose to skip ten in between. Pull out the next. You can skip any depending on how you want your design to be. Yeah? So um, I'm going to use white as my other color. And then what I'm going to do is ignore this. So we need five with red. Okay. So that's one, two, three. Four, five okay <coughs> let me do six because my thing is this side so that's six then I'll bring back my white okay I'll bring back the white put it in select the middle button okay then select my needles here that I want white to knit on I can actually see them but feel free um, to count so that you pull out the right one yeah uh, for me I'm trying to follow and I see that I get it okay so then again we need one row with that that's one okay still we drop the white okay uh, so drop the white I'll keep it on the side still then I also remove that button and then we need our five rows with red one two three four five and six I, I keep knitting six because i want to end where my white is yeah so i'm knitting six in between then i'll bring back the white okay put it inside the machine press the middle button um bring out those buttons uh those needles that you want white to knit on you can count so that you don't make mistakes so i'm picking every needle after five you can do it whichever we want leave the ones you want okay then still I need my one row all right that's it then I remove the white then I remove the white keep it on the side press here so that the button comes out then knit my five again one two three four and five okay so i'll do this one more time then i show you another trick let me call it a trick oh i didn't do six let's do six because the white is the other side yeah that's six then you bring them out again okay put in our white again place in our white again press the middle button and knit okay that's it now next i want to make the design a bit different yeah 
So I remove my white. Let me first remove the white and also get that button out of the way. Now you know what I'm talking about. Knit the five rows of red. One, two, three, four, five, six. We said six. Now you might want to interchange. I don't just have those. Let me show you guys a bit. See what it does that cute so cute lovely so cute so this is what it does yeah now i want to but you can see that in a straight line straight line straight line now let me show you something else that will also look cute yeah so you can choose to now select the needles in between these ones okay so in between these ones we select um let's say this one is here so I'll select maybe this one. Is it this one or this one? The one in the middle is what now I want to select. And I count five, two, four, five. We select the one in the middle, yeah? So after selecting the first one here in the middle, the rest still, you'll just count five, five. And select the next after five. <laughs> That's it. Put back your white, press the middle button knit once okay remove the white i'm doing it off camera now you know what i'm talking about remove the metal button and knit your five rows of red one two three uh, four five after these five remember now we've interchanged we've gone to the middle yeah now we go back to the ones where we started from the first the first one we used yeah so i can follow here and see which one is the fifth grand still pick the next after five if you can look at it closely and pick the middle one well and good so i'm putting back the white pressing the middle button knitting once And that's it <clears throat> then I remove the white place it on the side remove the middle button and knit five with the red one two three four five six we are knitting six I don't know why I keep saying five so guys still we, we pull out the midpoint of this so here i'm just interchanging midpoint then i finish i get to the midpoint still you just keep pulling out what is in the middle yeah so let me show you a little bit of that guys see what that has done eh? um you guys will see it better when I put off the work, but now you can see it's ta 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 ta, ta like it's no longer a straight line like here. Now this goes in between there, in between there, in between there. It makes a nice design. You'll see it when I'm done, yeah. Now you can also choose to play around with different colors, okay? So now I can bring in this other color that I have. So for the next part, I use red for the next middle. Um, I use a different color So I have this cute yarn that I'm going to put in now then I'm pressing the middle button Okay, and I'm knitting one Okay, that's done and of course I remove it also remove the middle button Then of course we need five rows of red so then I can choose now to put in white. Press the middle button. Find the ones in between the ones we have used. Okay. Now press the middle button. Pass one row of white. That's it. Remove the white. Um, pull them out again. Of course, the ones in the middle are the ones we are using. Middle of what we used before. So I'm putting it in. Pressing the middle button. And knitting one row. 
that's it then you can remove it even if you don't keep pressing that middle button just remove and knit without any other color it will keep knitting red yeah so knit five of red one two three four five you don't have to keep pressing the middle button leave it pressed okay now we can put white again let me show you one last way you can do it okay so um let me pull this out and show you how you guys can still interchange to make another cute design so one other way you can make that another cute kind of design is by um using both colors at the same time let me show you guys so what i do i get my white okay so the first one i knit with white now we have to hand knit for this we have to hand knit so i hand knit with my white okay like that then for the next i hand knit with my other color okay like that okay then for the next i bring white i hand knit with white yeah then for the next i hand knit with the other color okay for the next i use white for the next i use the other color for the next i use white then the other color and lastly white and knit my five rows of red so, um, so guys this is our finished product this is where we we're doing the ones on the same line then here i decided to interchange and do when i do here then i go to the middle then i go to the other middle and that created that kind of design then we chose to change color where we're doing black and then white and then black black and then white and then black and then white and then this is the last spot yeah, we interchanged and we're hand knitting yeah we was doing black to white to black to white yeah but one thing about this design is that it has this in inside the work it has a lot of this so it's good for things like scarves where you're just going to put this together and then you have this clear top when the other mess is in there so it's great for designs and maybe double beanies stuff like that all right guys thank you so much for watching bye